Well, good morning, everyone. Here we are on uh, March 22nd, and uh, we've come to the end of our Deuteronomy reading, and uh, it's been a blessing. I, I've received so much from uh, this reading this year. It's um, it's very encouraging, and uh, it, it leaves me as we finish this off and we see all the promises and and um, our God just explaining things to Israel like. Uh, stick with me, hold on to me, and uh, you will be blessed, and this land will be incredible. Um, turn away from me, and uh, it's going to be a very hard time for you, but I'm, I'm not going to give up on you. It, the, the faithfulness of our, our Creator is just incredible. Uh, he, he should have just got rid of this this planet entirely and started over again. Uh, that's what we would have done, but... But uh, he's so much more than we are, and we, we can't fully comprehend this, but it's what, what he's done, and, and we praise him for it. He, he deserves all of our attention. He deserves all of our love. Um, and, and that's the thing. He, he, we, we don't understand a blessed life, and, and we want to deny it, and we want to try to live within what we find to be acceptable parameters, and, and uh, let's not be unreasonable in, in, in things. And we don't understand that he has promised us great blessing. He has promised, promised us uh, incredible things if we are faithful to him, if, if, we, if we do it according to his way. That, that's the whole thing. If we live life according to what he has directed, if we do things his way, uh, the, the blessings and, and the life in abundance, would it just flows. It, it just flows. And we would be the people that uh, a blessing that he intends us to be. And not, not for our sake, um, although it's a great benefit, uh, but it is for the sake of the world that, so that they would that he would be glorified in the world, that they would look in and see his wisdom, his way of doing things, and, and understand that our way of doing things just doesn't measure up to, to his wisdom. Um, so when we see all these blessings and we see all the benefits, it's, it's hard for us to understand why people would turn their back on him. Except that a lot of people who sit in church have turned their back on him, but they don't realize they've turned their back on him. Because it is, it's a slow process. It's a, it's a drifting away, a falling asleep. Uh, it's not an out-out rebellion. I'm not going to do what you say. Because if that was the case, they wouldn't be sitting in church. But it's a, a slow progress. And it, it can happen with generations. It can happen with uh, uh, individuals. It, it can happen with a family. Um, we see it happen quite often in, in denominations. It started off in the Holy Spirit on fire. Uh, great miracles, all kinds of things that are happening. And then they settle. They settle. They drift. They drift away from that. Because that can be uncomfortable. It, it, um, when you keep pressing in. When you keep learning. When you when when you live a life that is, is a abandoned uh, and, and your whole joy is just pursuing him and, and what he's doing um, after a while you, you're just you're just looking uh, to make it easier um, you start writing uh, doctrines you, you start writing uh, methodologies and uh, yeah this is the way God heals this is the way God does this this is the way God does that this is what pleases him and we see in the word that he, he chooses all kinds of different ways uh, according to the individual in the situation it's it's not a cookie cutter thing with our God we we have the basics we have the foundations we have his heart but how that gets applied in different situations that's entirely up to him and that's why we need to keep listening that's that's the whole thing. We have to listen, not once, but all the time. All the time. We have to keep listening, 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 listening. Uh, it was pointed out that it was a good thing that Abraham uh, didn't stop listening. When, when God told uh, him to sacrifice Isaac, it, it, was, it was a test. Um, if Abraham had just taken that command and, and ran with it and uh, had stopped listening, then, then Isaac would have been killed. And uh, there's a lot of Isaacs that have been killed because uh, we take a command and we run with it instead of listening. Listening as, as God directs and he changes things. It just If we look at Nineveh and the, the judgment that was called down upon Nineveh, the, the whole reason that Jonah was upset was because... I, um, God changed that. 
and, and the reason he changed it was because Nineveh repented. That meant the circumstances changed. And, and, and that's what our life is with God. There's all kinds of adjustments and things that, that, that come along where he directs us in, in one direction. The next day, it's a different because circumstance of it's changed. Things have changed. Um, and, and to bring about his will, um, it, it's he's just called us to faithfulness. He's called us to listen. He's called us to relationship. And there's tons of blessings that come with it. And I just want to encourage you in that. Uh, keep pressing in. Keep learning. Keep growing. Don't fall asleep. It's he, he wants us to have a blessed life, people. He wants us to have a blessed life. It's clear in scriptures. He wants to bless us. He wants us to overflow with his goodness, his love. He wants us to be generous. He wants us to be those who lend and not those who borrow. It, it just We need to get with his program. So throw out all of your ideologies and, and, and everything else that you've come up with and just listen to his voice. Read the word, understand the word, listen to the voice. The voice will bring clarity for the word, bring greater understanding. So be blessed today, be encouraged, walk with him, talk with him, enjoy him, and uh, rest in him today. Allow our Lord to bless you and to use you for his glory. Amen.